We're now going to finish the top of the hat. I'm down to 10 stitches and so I'm going to cut it about 12 to 14 inches and thread my yarn through a large eyed needle. This one has a bent tip which I like and I'm going to feed the stitches now off of the double pointed needle and onto my sewing needle and I'm just going to get rid of my stitch markers as I go along because I don't need them anymore. I'm going to pull my yarn through and then move to the next double pointed and do the same thing. Now all my stitches are off of my needles and I just pull that tight, snug it up, not too tight. And then I like to go around one more time through those stitches with my yarn. And then I'm going to show you um, how to weave in the ends. That's your last step for your hat. I'm going to take my yarn through the little hole in the top of the hat and turn it inside out. And on the inside of the hat, I'm just going to weave my yarn back and forth I like to go down one way and up and down. And this is so that your yarn doesn't come undone. And I sometimes like to go through like that. And then before it goes all the way through, I catch underneath it to create a little tiny bit of knot. And after you've woven in the end of your yarn. Just snip it off. And then you only have one more tail to weave in and that is the tail at the beginning of your work. So you do the same thing to that. yarn is thick so it's hard to get it through. Here we go. I'm going to bring it through to the other side and I'm going to try to move up a little higher. Because it's a roll brim hat the outer roll will show. And once again, just weave it in a little bit. Going up and down in different directions. And then cut it off. And there's your hat. Your roll brim hat. And in the next video, we will talk about how you can decorate it.